Election season is upon us. In addition to the November presidential election, the Portland mayoral seat is also open for a new face to represent the city. Fox 12's Amel Elhel is here now with more on three candidates who we met today to debate about the most pressing issues in the city of Portland. That's right. Well, Pete, we heard about homelessness, strengthening the workforce, and open drug use. All of these issues were the subject of discussion today for Renee Gonzalez, Carmen Rubio, and Keith Wilson at the Columbia Quarter Association's Mayoral Candidate Forum. Now, with Portland phasing out its commission form of government in January, the mayor's race differs from all others before. Rather than having city councilors manage city bureaus, the council would develop laws and policies while the mayor will take executive authority of city businesses. The new mayor will also collaborate closely with the city administrator to delegate responsibilities. Today, the candidates discussed Portland's economy with a focus on small businesses. We're in, in this region where our local economy is comprised of more than 61% of small businesses. That is significant. We don't have many heads of industry here. We don't have, um, you know, uh, an economy like Seattle, even though it's, it's a sister city not too far away from us. We are unique in that way. We are, a, you know, we are makers and creatives and small businesses and medium-sized businesses primarily. Homelessness and its effects were also debated by all three candidates. I have been sometimes the most fierce voice for ending enablement culture in our region. It's not because of lack of compassion for what's on the street. It's because of its compassion for small business owners and families, seniors and children who are disproportionately negatively impacted by our behavioral health crisis and our drug crisis. We pay New York City taxes. We should expect New York City services and we're not receiving them and you know it because tens of thousands of our residents have moved out. It's time for us to reset the city, to ask our citizens and the rest of the nation to come back to Portland. Additional topics discussed were protect, protecting industrial lands, growing job opportunities, and keeping Portland's population from emigrating to other cities. The November 5th Portland general election will determine not only the new mayor, but also the city auditor and 20, or excuse me, 12 city councilors. Reporting in studio, I'm Al-Hal, Fox 12, Oregon. Some big changes on the way. Amel, thank you.